The typical Tassie home loses 30% of its heat through windows. To understand heat loss through windows, we need to look at what's happening inside. Here's a wall with a window in it. It's cold outside so we have the fire going. Lots of heat goes through the glass window. A curtain helps to keep the heat in, but they need to be set up right. Why? Well, because hot air rises and circulates around the room. When it touches the window, it cools down and then drops to the floor. The air keeps going round and round and lots of heat is lost through the window. To stop this, we need to have a full length curtain that goes all the way to the ground and then a pelmet at the top. This stops the air circulating and keeps the heat in. There are two types of pelmet. A box pelmet, usually made of wood like this one, or a ledge pelmet which sits hidden away on top of the curtain rail. You can make a ledge pelmet yourself from thick cardboard, core flute or similar material. The next question is which curtains are best? Vertical and Venetian blinds are hopeless at keeping the warmth in. Thin curtains or Holland blinds are not quite as bad, reducing heat loss by 8%. Heavy lined curtains are much better at 13%. Add a pelmet and the reduction in heat loss is way better at 37%. Thick Roman blinds and honeycomb blinds are also good, but they need to be well fitted. You can often find good affordable curtains at op shops or if you have a healthcare card or student card, you can loan them for free from Sustainable Living Tasmania's Curtain Library. But be quick, they'll all be gone soon. What about double glazing? Double glazed windows have two panes of glass separated by an air gap and they do a great job of keeping the heat in. On their own, they reduce heat loss by 33%. Add heavy lined curtains and pelmets and they reduce heat loss by a massive 54%. There are ways of retrofitting double glazing to existing windows, but that will have to wait for another video. All over Tassie, there are people having a great time taking positive, practical steps towards living healthy, happy and sustainable lives. So get involved, become a member of Sustainable Living Tasmania, donate or volunteer. 